I just want to let everybody know that about five minutes ago, I just went to grab my bottle of water. I'll show you my setup. I have my bottle of water here, my Meissler water here, and I went to go take a drink of my water, picked up the Meissler water, didn't even look, took the cap off, and drank it. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing my 10 minute everyday, super easy makeup routine. I have gotten, I don't want to be that and be like, I've gotten so many requests. But I genuinely have gotten so many requests to do this video because it's what I've been wearing in my past few videos. So I'm doing that today. It's the easiest thing ever. I get a lot of comments asking about my skincare routine and how I get people commenting and being like, your skin is so good. Your skin is so perfect. And it's like, no, it's just the makeup. Can you see this? I have had this patch of acne on my face for, I want to say about six months now. The same area, the same like spots. I have spots here too. I know that that might not be even anything to some people like what I have, but to me it is. And I really rarely wear makeup around school and to class because I could give less of a f what I look like walking around on this campus. But I'm insecure about it. So I wanted to find a way that I could make my makeup still look glowy and natural and nice and cover up. This. And I even looked at like I googled like those face charts where it shows like the different parts Do you guys know what I'm talking about like shows like the different parts of your face and like where that acne comes from? I even looked those up. My lips are dumb dry. And it really didn't help me like it didn't like pinpoint this exact air. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I just need to get into the video. Let's do this Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm doing a giveaway So that'll be at the end after I get my makeup done I made this shirt in my last video and I had a lot of people commenting that they liked it, so I'm really glad. Someone commented and said that I was a basic and I just started liking Queen and jokes on you because when I was like four and five and ever since then, it's all my dad listened to in the car. It's all I ever heard. It's the only band I ever knew existed. So I've been listening to them for a long time. I just had to put that out there. So first step in this routine, it starts with this. So I take my Meissler water that I just drank on accident. It's the simple Meissler water. I mean, this is pretty popular. Then I take a cotton ball and obviously just applying, okay, it just gets everywhere. I'm just applying it on that and applying it to my face. I do this in the morning because at night I put on my Mario Badescu drying lotion, which is pink. So then in the morning I have to get it off. And it also is nice because it is a cleansing water. So it gets off any dirt or oil or anything that was on my face. So then after that, I take my Pond's dry skin cream. I know this is a fave on YouTube. A lot of YouTubers use this and this is actually where I heard about this product i got it on amazon and it was honestly i think it was like six or seven dollars for this entire thing i feel like i've barely used any of it there's so much in here and it's really affordable so i just get some on my finger and put that on my face to moisturize and i really think that this product plays a really important role in the fact that my skin looks so glowy and dewy all right so the next step is foundation i just want to put a disclaimer out there before i apply this on my face because i already know that everyone's gonna notice that this is not my shade because this is not my Machine. I use the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I've been using this for a year-ish now, and I really like this stuff. The problem is, I'm pretty sure that they used to have only three shades, and I think it was like light, medium, and dark. I wasn't light enough for the light one, but I wasn't really the medium one, so I got the medium because I'd rather look tan when I'm really not than look like a f ghost. So this is in the shade light medium. So I guess they like expanded their shade range, thank God, because how the f are you only gonna have three shades beyond me? They, I guess, expanded it and I got light medium. So I got this for Christmas, AKA I did not test it before I asked for this for Christmas. Big mistake. But I thought, cause I already had the medium one, I thought that if I got light medium, it was supposed to be lighter than medium but it just i feel like it's darker i don't get it it does not make sense but basically all i'm saying is that this is not my shade i'm very aware of that but this stuff is kind of expensive it's like almost 40 bucks i'm gonna use this until i run out of it because i'm not wasting that money oh f i needed to wet my beauty blender and i thought i was done getting up for this video so i just wet my beauty blender this is the sephora collection I think it's like the Detail Beauty Sponge. It hits. It's literally the best beauty blender I've ever tried. I've never even had the brand beauty blender before because I don't feel like paying for it. Like, why? So I'm just putting a little bit of this on the back of my hand. You can already tell Bruh. this is not my jade. I'm just obviously taking this and applying it to my face. So now I'm just finishing up, making sure everything is applied nicely to my face. I think I did drag the remainder that was on my hand down onto my neck, but don't worry. We're gonna be blending down my neck. 
So the next product that I use is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I wasn't a big fan of this at the beginning when I first started using it, I'm not gonna lie. And I think it's because I was using way too much and it made my face look so cakey and gross. What I do is I take off the little thing and obviously here's the applicator and I take my ring finger, no. Is it called a ring finger if it's on your right hand? I take this one and I just dab it on the brush, the applicator brush itself, get a little bit on my finger, and then I apply it with my finger to my face because I found that when I do this, it looks so much lighter and more natural and it doesn't cake. As soon as I started doing this, I noticed the difference and then I'm taking some and putting it on my eyelids as well to make sure that they don't look all veiny and gross. And then I just take some and I apply it on any blemishes, problem areas. And I use this finger specifically because apparently it's supposed to be like the one with the lightest touch out of all of them. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. This is the shade 24 Warm Beige. I'm taking the e.l.f. blush brush, which was literally I think a dollar at Target, and I'm going into this powder foundation and I'm setting my under eyes with this because the concealer that I use is a bit light so this just helps to even it out and also set at the same time. I'm also setting and kind of using this to even out the color of my eyelids and then I'm gonna go in with this. I feel like I've used this brush so many times. I've had this forever. I don't it's from like TJ Maxx like one of those like brush packs at TJ Maxx but this brush is great. I use this to bronze so I am just applying this a little to my cheekbones and up on my forehead and now comes the time we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna even all of this so I'm just taking the same powder and bringing it down my neck after that's done, I take my highlighter. This is the Becca Gradient Glow Highlighter. I really like this one. It looks like this. This step is very integral. So I take the same finger. I just like applying things with my finger all of a sudden. I'll use this brush sometimes too. It's the It Cosmetic 116 fan brush. I just apply this to, you know, like the typical highlight areas. It really helps with the glowiness and the dewiness, obviously. That's the whole point of highlighter. And then what I do next is I put it on my eyelids because who has time for eyeshadow on a daily basis? Not me. And I think that it really makes my eyes pop. Like, but I'm also just like bringing this into the inner corner. And then I'm taking, I still have obviously a lot on my finger. So I like to put that on my eyebrow bone. That is all of the face makeup. So I'm just gonna set that with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And once we've hit this point, we're almost done. We only have two more steps. I am using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. It makes my eyelashes look so nice and I don't even have to curl them, which is good because my eyelash curler is like broken and gross. And then obviously bring it onto the lower lashes as well. I don't like having a lot on my lower lashes because then I feel like if I cry throughout the day, then it'll just run all over my face and that's not what we want. So then once that's applied, I mean, it's really not that serious. And the eyes are... Pretty much done and then i just have to do eyebrows because my eyebrows are a hot mess i'm taking the glossier boy brow which has changed my life and has decreased the time that it takes me to do my makeup in the morning by a lot i am just gonna take this and i like to start with the middle of my eyebrows because that's obviously when you first start applying it the most product is coming out so i want that to be focused on the middle part and then I ease into this part, I don't know what that's called, of my eyebrow. And by this point, there's only a little bit of product left on the brush, so it's not overwhelming. To finish off this look, I'm gonna take my Simple Micellar Water, and you can do this with a makeup wipe as well, but this is just what I have right now. Like, I don't feel like getting up and getting a makeup wipe. So I'm taking one of these Q-tips, and this is just gonna get everywhere, but at this point, I've accepted it. Putting the Micellar Water, just wetting the Q-tip, taking this and wiping it on my lips so that I can get off the makeup that is on there. A lot of people ask me as well what lip products I use. I do nothing but this and the next step that I'm doing, which is like the most basic ever. Kind of brings out the color of them as well. I don't know how, but it does. Lastly, I'm just taking this chapstick. I switch between Burt's Bees and Carmex. I have like a million chapsticks, but I literally just take the chapstick and apply that. I'm not really a big fan of wearing lip products, especially just on a normal school day throughout the day because I eat a lot. I feel like it just messes up my lips and then I just am thinking about it. Oh, I need to redo my lips. Like I don't have time for that. So I just use chapstick. So then after I do that, that is all for my everyday makeup. That's all I do. This light is really bright. So please appreciate that I'm looking directly into it for you guys right now. This is the finished look. It works, so 
that's it. Okay, so now for the giveaway. I'm really excited, first of all, to be doing a giveaway because I have never done one before on my channel. So this video is not sponsored, but I am partnering up with an Etsy brand that I talked about before. I talked about it in one of my vlogs and they're called LA Girls Co. It was created by this girl named Alex. She's super sweet and she actually sent me this necklace. This necklace is by LA Girls Co. Also, this horseshoe ring that I wear every day is from them as well. Basically, they're a new Etsy shop that makes dainty jewelry. You guys know that I love dainty jewelry. They ship free to the whole United States, which is really great because I hate paying for shipping. But that's just a little bit about them. So the product of theirs that I'm going to be giving away is, it is this necklace called the Smoky Topaz Pendant Rose Gold Beaded Necklace. So it just looks like this. I'll insert a couple pictures here as well. It's something that I would wear for sure. I am going to be giving away to one of you guys so here are the rules for entry i'm going to put them up on the screen so number one you have to be subscribed to my channel and then follow me and la girls co on instagram i'll have obviously all the handles and everything and then third comment down below on this video make sure you include your instagram handle so that if you win i can contact you and also comment with that if you were a crayola crayon if you could be any color that they have what would you be okay so there are a couple things that i forgot to mention the giveaway is live for two weeks from today and it is us only i feel like i have been asked this question before and i think it's interesting because people start pulling out like crazy random colors that they like just know exist because they're like their favorite ones so comment down below which crayola crayon color you'd be and also your instagram handle so those are the three rules if you do all of those things and you will be entered into the giveaway everybody gets one entry except if you go to la girls co's etsy shop and if you buy something from there with my code, I will put that on the screen too. It's just Hannah 10. It gets you 10% off. Each additional item that you buy with my code gets you an additional entry. So if you do all the rules I just said and you buy two items from their shop with my code, you get three entries, if that makes sense. But like just to generally enter this, you don't have to spend any money. It's a giveaway. It's supposed to be free. But if you did buy additional items that you liked and you used my code, then that would count for additional entries for every additional item that you bought. That is the giveaway. I'm really excited to be doing my first giveaway. Thank you, Alex, for for sending me this necklace to send to one of you guys and I'm really excited to do this and I don't know I think it's gonna be fun because it's my first one so enter if you guys would like that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button and I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video bye